Oh, and off we go. Well, hello there. Welcome back. Once again, and greetings to you from York. No, not New York. Not yet. And no, not York, Pennsylvania. Not yet. <clears throat> greetings to you from York. Nebraska. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're darn tootin'. Oh, look at this. They filled in the potholes <clears throat> with dirt. <laughs> yeah, that's that's going to last, um, I don't know. <laughs> Until one big heavy holler rolls over it. That'll be a wrap for that. <coughs> Are you pulling out there, green truck? Nope. You're gonna wait for me. It's a good man. Yep, York, Nebraska. Petro stopping centers. And hey, if you look over here on the left, eh? The, the girl in the pink jacket, she's not there anymore. Turn left on US 81, she then must exit have, right. She must have finally gotten enough change to get her way home. Hop in her minivan. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <clears throat> so, you know, let's see here. We just, uh, of course, went ahead and fueled up the truck. Topped off the tanks. Emptied Max's tank, one of them. Uh, I think he uh, he emptied his tanks so many times yesterday. I think he's good for like <laughs> the rest of the day, maybe. Uh, I hope. <clears throat> Take the exit on the right to I-80 East. This I-80 East sign is our best friend right now. It is our lover and companion in travel. <laughs> so that makes our second stop for the day right there. That's our second stop right there. Our next stop will be our our next stop will be our last stop for the for the day. And that is as per the boss. The boss actually called me and said uh, gave me some uh, some instructions on our plan for the next for the remainder of the day and tomorrow, which caught me a little off guard, actually. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's see. Before I before I continue, let's go ahead and check in. So we got uh, Friday, April thirtieth, two thousand twenty-one. I guess tomorrow is going to be the first. Uh, current local time out here in York, Nebraska is 6.33. Imagine that in the post perennial. <laughs> right as I right as I right as I drew it down and took a look to see what the time was, tell them it's 6.33, I kid you not. Just imagine that. Um <laughs> right. It's a nice, uh, comfortable 86 degrees out here, and uh, it's comfortable because it's calm, you know. It's a little breezy, just a 
slight breeze and that's what makes it comfortable. If it was any more or any less breezy, it would be uncomfortable. <clears throat> and our elevation, we have uh, descended to an elevation of 1,600 and about 50 feet above the level of the sea. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? Above the level of the sea, we sail across the horizon. Above the level of the sea, we're trucking and we're driving. I don't know, just shut up, Cal. Shut the F up. <laughs> So, yeah, that said, so, yeah, and uh, here, you know, you know where we are, you know when we are, you don't know who we are, it's Kel the Mason Man, you got Max the Spaz, and you got Royalty the Drug. So, um, yeah, we got all our duck duck uses in a row. For this one? Mile marker 357 and make our way and encroach upon the state capital of Lincoln. Uh, state capital of Nebraska, Lincoln. <laughs> I believe Lincoln is the state capital of Nebraska, uh, I think. <clears throat> and then uh, following Lincoln, we got Omaha. I mean, one would think that Omaha was the state capital, but I don't believe that's the case. I just don't believe so. I'm pretty sure it's Lincoln. <laughs> Named after the man, the myth, the, the A.B. Ram, <laughs> the body of the Ram. <laughs> something back and then you're like York took it back York Waco next exit <clears throat> no not Waco Texas I already told you we're in Nebraska and uh, yeah we're having a heck of a day I gotta say I'm a poet and I didn't even know it So, 
out of that 13 hours and 26 minutes, I have four hours, I have four and a half hours remaining that I can drive today, right? Which means tomorrow, I would only have nine and a half hours, right? Remaining. Is that right? That's right. Well, let me think here. That's not right. Nine hours, whatever it is. You do the math. <laughs> Let's see, now I can do the math. Okay, think, Kelly, think. I, I'm telling you, math, it's just not my thing. I'm not fast at math. I never have been. I don't expect that I ever will be. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to do it. <laughs> I don't even want to figure out what the math is. So take away half an hour off of both of those. It leaves me 13 and 4, right? And so, yeah, so 9. Yeah. Because 9 plus 4 is 13, right? I think the last time I checked. <clears throat> so I would have 9. I will have nine hours remaining tomorrow if I continue my shift today in its totality. But the boss, for some reason, didn't. He said, don't bother. He said, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna run out of time somewhere or another. He says, go ahead and pull off in another two and a half hours or so, three hours, and uh, find yourself a spot in a truck spot, stop, wherever. You know, he says, just basically because it doesn't make a difference anymore. I'm not going to get any more time back so I can pull off wherever I want to. He was like, just, you know, get, get off the road early enough that you get a good spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so whatever. So if we pull off in, you know, two hours, then, you know, I'll have 11 left for tomorrow. And I think that's what he's getting at. He wants me to have 11 hours of driving for I guess. <clears throat> I said, okay. So, uh, yeah, as I said, our next stop will be our last stop for the day.
Yep. So I actually, uh, I actually got stung driving along 80 earlier uh, after I did one of my last videos. We were cruising along, and uh, I didn't even feel it come in. But I don't even—it wasn't even like a honeybee. It was some sort of other bug, a stinking bug. But it must have been a honeybee. I don't know. It, you know, but I'm driving along. I got the window down. I felt something crawling on the underside of my, uh, like on the back of my, like where my bicep would be, like next to my, next to my elbow. And, and it was just kind of a tickle, you know, so I went to like go scratch whatever it was and it moved its way up. I think, you know what it was? It must have been, it must have been on my shirt because it didn't sting me on the back of my arm or my elbow is. It stung me on the inside of my, where my elbow is, on the inside. It, uh, yeah, it, it didn't drop the stinger on me. And it was sitting there pumping. <laughs> like, I was like, but it didn't get in real deep, but it got in deep enough that it, you know, that it put some of the venom in there. And I grabbed the stringer and flipped it out the window. And next thing you know, it starts itching like crazy, of course, right? And I was like, ah, son of a bitch, I can't believe it. You know, it didn't hurt, it just itching. And uh, so I grabbed some of the, my, my hand cleaner, my hand sanitizer, which has got, you know, 70% alcohol, you know, 30% whatever, aloe. And I scrubbed some of that on there and it stopped it right away. It stopped it right away. It's like stopped it dead in its tracks. It stopped itching like immediately. So whether it was the alcohol or the aloe, I don't know, but whatever, it went away. It's not even red anymore or nothing. It's like a tiny little bump there, that's it. So that's pretty cool. Yep. Well, anyways, I don't know. I'm just kind of babbling, not much to talk about. So I'm talking about being stung by bees. <laughs> I'll let you go, we'll see y'all later.
there, welcome back, and uh, welcome to Iowa. And uh, little old Max here, he is absolutely having a panic attack. And I have a feeling it's a, uh, he's having a poo panic attack, so we're gonna go ahead and pull off here at this rest area. I'm pretty sure this is a rest area we pulled off in the past, in the very recent past, actually. I think this is the same one. <laughs> and if it is, it's, uh, eh, maybe it's not, it might not be. No, oh, whatever, we'll see when we get there. But uh, it's a pretty cool one for letting him out. I might be able to get him off the leash, Let's see. No, it's not the same one. But, oh well, wait, this is like a uh, urgent, <laughs> <laughs> it's, and it's just becoming more and more urgent. He is, he's not letting this one go. He's like, dude, I need to go. I need to poop. <laughs> he's like, I, I had something to eat and, and uh, I gotta make room, you know? <laughs> what goes up must come down. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. I think that's your door for the barking, eh? So we're gonna go handle this business. We'll see you in a minute. <clears throat> yep. He worked me. He was just working me. He didn't really have to go. He sort of did, but it was not urgent. He was just working me to get out of the truck. But check that out, huh? Isn't that pretty? Man. Yep, that's pretty pretty. Kind of makes me wish I was going westbound. Man, that is gorgeous. So, yes, he fooled me again. Come on, get your stick up this way. There you go. Good boy. Nice freaking rest area though. Check that out, right? Isn't that cool? It's all nice and grassy and shit. Bunch of trees and all that. Get your stick. Good boy. It's like, <laughs> we only got like another 70 miles to go <clears throat> to, uh, to our campground for the night. So it's kind of like, dude, I can't believe you just worked me. I thought for sure he had to go freaking boo super bad and he just didn't. <laughs> Hardly at all. <laughs> he barely had to go. The first thing he did was pee for like two seconds. <laughs> and then and then just want to come out and just smell the grass and run around. Like you little freaking jerk. You little puppy. Look at that sky. Let's get a panorama here. It's a little bit of a panorama. Thanks, Max. Thanks for running the shot. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> All right, we got to get. We got to get going here. We got to get this time out of the way. Max, knock it off. Here he goes, doing, he's sinning. Max, you're sinning. <laughs> you're doing it again. <laughs> All right, gotta go. I can't believe it, so. <laughs> he was just thirsty. Like, he was thirsty. This little freaking jerk. I even offered him water and everything. <laughs> like, before we got into like Omaha and stuff. And he turned his nose at it, and then the next thing you know, <clears throat> he starts yapping at me. I figure, well, I offered him water, it's a little while ago, he must not be thirsty. Oh, he was thirsty, all right. Gosh. Watch out, Max. 
So anyways, let's get you back on the road here. Okay, all right, let's get our asses in gear here. Freaking little jerk. And he does not want to leave right now either. Honestly, I don't really want to leave either. It's a pretty nice little rest area over here. And uh, I would hate to leave a nice rest area and find ourselves in a crappy one later, but I think we'll be all right. I hope we'll be all right. We should be all right. something over to the left of us over here. Man. There is really something. Wow. I wish I could show it to you. Yep, so he just wanted water. That was it.
seven hours. So that way we can put in a full day tomorrow, I guess. And then do our reset. Our reset will begin at the end of our shift tomorrow. So the standard 10 hours, then plus 24. And then we can make it the rest of the way and try and make our delivery on that, I guess. Anyways, I've, I've chosen a rest area that is 55, 54 more miles up the road here. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I've chosen a rest area versus a truck stop. Um, I don't really need it to be a truck stop. I have food. The only thing I'm lacking, and the thing that I forgot to buy the other day at Walmart, was coffee creamer. I have nothing to sweeten my coffee for when I make part of coffee. So, that's my only hesitation about pulling into a rest area, but I can handle black coffee. Until I get to some place where I can put creamer in it. So. <clears throat> Whatever. We'll see what it looks like at the rest area we get to. I think it only has like 15 spots also. So, you know, whatever. We'll see what we get when we get to it. If it's no good, we'll just, we'll just pull into the next uh, truck stop or something. right here and we're just gonna call it good I figure yeah we're just gonna call it good right here 
on the car side. <laughs> I don't really care. People do it all the time. Truck drivers do it all the time. I bet you we'll get away with it better than we uh, got away with parking at the Gold One Gold Run Rest Area there in California. And somebody comes and gives us a ticket here tonight, boy, we are really in trouble. Yeah, we're just gonna call this good. Heck with it. That's actually. A, uh, I do see one available spot there on the left that I could have fit the truck in, but I think uh, the state troopers in Iowa got better shit to do with their fucking night than to come through and give truck drivers tickets for parking in rest areas while they're asleep. <sighs> Just a hunch. Of course, I could be wrong. I probably shouldn't even say nothing, honestly, huh? <laughs> hey, Max. Oh, okay, so whatever, I don't know, I should be feeling like I'm tired and stuff, but um, we, uh, yeah, we, we stopped with two hours remaining of drive time, let's see, hang on, we stopped with three hours and 12 minutes of available shift time left, so that means we did put in a... day I guess I don't know whatever I don't really care to figure it out right now so <clears throat> so anyways it's a wrap um, yes it is a wrap for the day is that another tick Max do you have another tick I, I just I, I, I'm, I'm in fear that this dog has a bunch of ticks on him that I don't know about and I, every time I feel a little thing on him I'm like is that another tick I think he does yeah I think I feel one over here underneath his collar actually it does feel like a um, oh well whatever okay so yes indeed anyways that is a wrap for today and for the night so once again I hope you all are doing well I truly do Max hopes you all are doing well too and um, don't forget to uh, like the videos if you've watched the whole way through this one <laughs> uh, definitely drop me a, a thumbs up on it I mean if you've made it to the end of any of my videos you ought to be at least liking them giving me a giving me a, uh, a sign that you, you enjoyed it you know if you made it to the end you should at least be liking my videos Leave me a comment. Say, hey, that was pretty cool. Anything of the sort. I, mean, I don't care. Give me a negative comment. Give me a, uh, uh, give me some critique. Say, hey, you know what? You should do less of this, or you should do more of that. You know, and I'll accept it, even if it's negative. Um, and uh, definitely, um, if you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, I will be doing more. So. Um, yeah, so as I said, I hope y'all are doing well, one way or the other, and we'll see you down the road. Take care. Okay, here you go. Here, Here's what a glutton am I. <laughs> All right, so chocolate, chocolate parfait pudding, pudding parfait. <clears throat> Vanilla pudding parfait, right? Banana pudding parfait, butterscotch pudding parfait, butterscotch pudding parfait. <laughs> I just got all these today. <clears throat> it was like a jackpot of pudding today. So <laughs> that's I uh, yeah. I'd say I got a bit of a fetish for these uh, pudding parfaits, you know. But what are you gonna do? You know, there's worse things. <laughs> there you go.